Suddenly ESPN cares about the NFL's concussion problem. Of course, they still haven't bothered to ask the helmet manufacturers why they haven't upgraded their helmets. I was a middle linebacker. My job was to hit people. And in the process of hitting people, you know, when you hit someone, they felt it. But then I also felt it. <laughs> I can remember hitting a blocking sled. Now, I'm not hitting anyone else. I'm hitting a stationary blocking sled. And, you, and I'm hitting it with such force that when I hit it and I lift up on it, and then I recoil off of it, and then, you know, I see stars. And so with that, that's a concussion. Or, um, you know, this is a case that I've spoken about at, at length, hitting John Reagan's down in RFK, and we're like two diesel trains colliding. And I get up, I go back to the huddle, I'm standing in the huddle, I'm holding hands with the guy, with my teammates. I look over at Bill Belichick, and he's flashing in the signal, which is a defense that is very common. And I look at him, and I can't determine what it is. And so I hit my head to get him to flash it again. He flashes it again. I still don't understand. The Redskins are breaking the huddle. And so my teammate sees that I'm not calling the signal, and so he calls the signal for me. I stay in and I play. By the time we leave the field, I'm okay now. But during the course of me standing there and holding their hand, everything fades to black just for a moment. I squeeze their hand, and I guess my blood is circulating a bit more, and I sort of come to, and, but I'm not at a point where I can recognize exactly what's going on, but I continue to play. So, I mean, you go from, you know, those are the things that happen with, with me, and those are the things that I'm aware of. You get dinged or you got your bell rung, um, you just blew it off. Not only did you blow it off, you didn't even tell people about it because it was, it was one of those things that you just sort of played through because you were a warrior, you were trained to, you know, suck it up and go. And, you know, that was it. And you, you just played. It's your body that you give up for playing the game. And people come, they buy their beer, hot dogs and everything, popcorn, they cheer. They don't know the shit that you have to go through long after the game is over. I talked about leasing out the body. That's what the NFL is. That's what professional football is all about. It leases out your body. It uses you to a certain degree. It's like leasing a car. When you turn that car in at the end of that lease, you know, the tires might be bald. You have all these scratches and dents and all that stuff. And God forbid, what's, what's happening under the hood? And so with football players, you know, you see the obvious blemishes. You see the knees and the ankles and the shoulders and all of that stuff. But when you open the hood, what's there? When you open the brain, what's there? What kind of damage has been sustained there? When I hear doctors say what they say, it carries absolutely no weight with me because I know what the deal is. I know. I've lived it. When I see those guys who are now dealing, they, they went from being strapping, strong, smart people to now they're dealing with dementia and can hardly take care of themselves, <clears throat> that could be me coming down the pike. So I could give about what these doctors are saying because I know what the deal is. I know what I know. And, and I can't, I mean, it's, It's like that whole duck thing, man. If it, quack, if it looks like a duck, if it quacks like a duck, if it waddles like a duck, then it's a duck, you know? And if you continue to say, well, you know, you know players don't know, well, we're the ones who play. We're the ones who are out there dishing out the punishment. We're the ones who are out there sustaining the hits and sustaining the concussions and, and all of that stuff. We know.